everyone. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we made our way out of the Arasaka compound where we had just spiked Hanako Arasaka's float with the virus that should allow Takimura access to get a one-to-one -one with her. And then we came uh, through after finding um, a little bit of a, a remnant from a fallen warrior from the future, which was uh, an interesting little nod. We came up to Japantown where we were offered an interesting brain dance by some guy peddling shady shit on the street and turned him down on his offer and requested a refund but i'm kind of feeling like i've cheated myself out of something there um and then we came down and found that somebody was uh, was in the process of defacing our friend brendan here the uh intelligent schism tucked away next to uh, Mega Building 08 here. Um, in fact, thinking about it, we might be coming back here soon. This is the location of Clouds, isn't it? Hmm. Judy wants to pay this place a little visit before too long. And, uh, yeah, so here we find ourselves at a bit of a loose end. We've cleared out what, um, what I thought would have been two gigs for Wakako, which turned out to be, uh, um, very short-lived little side jobs. Now, I'd like to head into Haywood. We'll start off in Vista, and, uh, we've got two, uh, sorry, three side gigs here, which are in pretty close proximity by the looks of it and um we'll, we'll take those down and start working our way around there's actually a surprising number blimey there's a hell of a lot of side jobs in haywood isn't there but we'll start uh, chipping away at some of these jobs for padre let's uh let's call our vehicle wherever it may be where is it oh there it is this one's only 800 meters away, but we're going to have to cross a bridge and such, so uh, might as well actually take the car. Uh, wait, why? Oh, damn. Why? I, <laughs> I can't drive. That's weird. For some reason, the game is not letting me drive my car towards Mega Building 08. That's, um, that's bizarre. Usually only happens when we've got an active quest somewhere. Okay, never mind. We're free... Free of the clutches of the invisible wall. So, get ourselves across the bridge and uh, start shipping away at some jobs for Padre. Now, one job that we have already picked up for Padre, we picked up purely by accident um, when we were looking into that BD for Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales, is right over on the other side of Haywood. So we're probably not going to go for that just yet. Oop, excuse me. Oh, hello. Wait, is this... This is on top of that building, by the looks of it. Handy dandy parking spaces. Right, what do you got for us, Padre? B, I need you to steal a certain document. Oh. It's urgent. Find the details attached. Well, that was, uh, that was short and sweet. Brevity is Padre's, uh... Forte, by the looks of it. Steal data from a computer. Okay. Location Dicky Twister. <laughs> Sounds painful. Corner of Congress and P Pajaro Street. Pajaro Street. St. Augustine once wrote, when one has a healthy sense of smell, he will immediately recognize the stench of sin. Well, even anyone with a sinus infection in this city can smell the fuck fest over at Dicky Twister. This gay... <laughs> oh no. This gay strip club is full of chicos with glazed dead eyes who will do anything you desire for an extra eddy tucked into their thongs oh dear uh that was strange my, my cursor was getting pushed back up again the stench coming from that place finally wafted into ncpd command my little rats tell me they plan to kick down the door any day now that's bad news the owner of dicky twister a pimp called senor ladrillo is no gonk and a fanatic for record keeping he has a computer full of data thanks to spying tech in his vip rooms oh you dirty dog we're talking politicians suits crime bosses celebrities maybe even the cops themselves if the boys in blue get their hands on these recordings ladrillo's ge uh, geniusly built house of cards collapses leaving the whole district in chaos oh and chaos isn't our best in uh, in our best interest at the moment Clap those recordings at the Dicky Twister before the cops do. Thankfully, the Lord has blessed us. Ledrillo is currently out of town, but better to make haste, for ignoring divine assistance is a sin in its own right. Okay, so... If Dicky Twister's collapses, the whole area gets thrown into chaos. So Dicky Twister's must surely be... Um, a bit of a cornerstone of the... Oh my lord, no, why? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh no, I don't like this whatsoever. Um, right, is this is this part of the Dicky Twisters property? Who are they? Right, so they're just patrons standing outside. So we must we must surely be able to just waltz in. Let me see. Three fourteen a.m. So it's likely that the place is open. Yeah. So. Similar to when we entered um, Seventh Hell and what was the other place? Empathy. We could probably just waltz in. Yeah. Looks like the place is bouncing. What joys await us within, I wonder? You can hear a camera. Now, this would be interesting. How's the uh, receptionist going to react? Okay, I was wondering whether we might uh, might get told it's men only. Like, I've come to fix your sound system. Except I'm here to fix your sound system. Those built-in subwoofers shaking down the joint. You're not on the list. Hey, you really want to call your boss and ask. But punch in the meter now. Just remember, time's at ease. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You go. Nice. News he sent. Right, now we're not an enemy of this place, so it looks like we don't need to worry about um, converting hey, the cameras to our cause. Show your Uncle Carlos some skin. Um, hmm. Okay, this is not nearly as seedy as I imagined it to be, actually. Um, with a name like Dicky Twisters and uh, with the reports of what goes on with the cameras rolling. Uh, Are you fucking blind, gunk? What, you walked into me? And incidentally, you look like you don't actually have any eyes. So, you know, just saying. All right, who have we got over here? Valentino's Sanguinario. So we've got Valentino's presumably uh, around the place. Who have we got up there? Saulo Capon. All right. Oh, is that... I don't know if that's an office or a VIP room. Looks like it might be an office, actually. There's a computer there. That could be our target, maybe. Right, yeah, I was about to say, I'm guessing we need to get through there. Now, can the uh, can the electrician bluff work with this guy? Hello. No, you're, you're not going to buy that, are you? You're not interested in the least. Um, wait, what was that? Right, toilets. I don't know why I've got a habit of uh, checking out toilets whenever I uh, go into anywhere. Hmm. Why is there a workman just chilling out here? I wonder if he's got an access pass or something. Might have to uh, bear him in mind. Hear me, good man. Not a rat. Right, there's a lot of Valentinos hanging out around here, isn't there? So, uh -huh. we need to get behind there. It looks like that could potentially be an alternative route, maybe? Maybe it might be worth, just for a second, knocking a couple of these cameras into friendly mode. Are you threatening me? For real? We'll, we'll see about that. Who's talking so loud I can hear them through a wall? Uh, there's another camera right over there. Barely make it out. And then another one just here. I think that's probably about it. Let's just do a quick camera control. Just to see if there's anything else looking into this main room. I basically don't want to be spotted if and when I manage to sneak through. Ooh, hello, shutters there. You know... I'm wondering whether it might be worth us heading back out and seeing if there's uh, an external entrance we can take. Oh, is this up? No, wait, where's this? Is this the ground floor or upstairs? I think this is upstairs. Oh, here's that room that we saw. Yeah, there's the guy peering through the window upstairs. Someone asleep on a sofa over there. So what was your name? Saulo Capon, okay. Ooh. Oh, this is just... Right, this is just through that doorway that's being guarded by uh, by the fella. That's the alternate door that we saw. Well, there's another one there. Right, interesting. 
Let's go and see if I can find out where that other door is that I saw. Oh, it's going to be right behind the DJ booth, isn't it? All right, we've got a guard up here. Are you a guard? No. Uh, what is in there? Oh, God. Right, you're worth keeping an eye on. If I were to edge my way up here, can I... Let's try memory wipe on you. Whoa. Right, let's get this camera disabled as soon as we can. Whoa. Oh, shit. Where was that? Oh, right there in the hallway. All right, let's run the same on you. Okay. We're all right. That's that computer in the office upstairs. We're all right. Now, uh, experience from previous places would tell us that these guys don't really care where there's intruders. Attending BD, Ruth. Take a look at the messages here, see if there's anything of interest. Yeah, it looks like they're both... Both junk. I'm not going to bother with jacking in, because I don't want to push my luck too much. 277 eddies. <laughs> don't want to push my luck too much, he says, as he starts robbing the dancers of their cash. Ooh, right, this is that hallway that we saw. I think there's a couple of cameras around here somewhere. Let's just gently... And there's one just around the corner there. Easy. The door there. Uh, I feel like there should be one on this wall here somewhere. No, there isn't. Okay. All right, no matter. Oh, perhaps it's down there. Yeah, there we go. There's a camera. Oh, it's around the corner. All right, that's fine. And you off. Are you a... Oh, God, that's actually a... Right. Lena Dominguez. Are you actually a Sanguinario? I feel like you are actually a Valentino as opposed to just a dancer or something. I just want to make sure that camera doesn't spot us as we grab her. Right, let's yoink you and just quickly pop you into this here crate. Pack you away neat and tidy. Sleep well, my dear. And if it... Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Ha, you're marching off. That's uh, probably not a great thing. Just for completeness sake, I want to take this camera out. Oh, shit. That is the guy guarding the door back out. Okay, what have we got in here? Right, this... stop. Away my that guy's very much taken notice of us. Oh, hello. We've got a little bit of a storeroom here. Let's, uh... What's this? The Cult of Santa Muerte. Who is the Lady of the Night? We don't fear death. What's to be afraid of? Santa Muerte is a good friend, our close companion. We know how to talk to her, and we know when there's no more room to negotiate. This is one of the first responses I heard whilst asking residents of Vista del Rey about Santa Muerte, sacred death. Her worship, officially condemned by the Roman Catholic Church but heavily influenced by its rites, is unusually popular among those of Mexican origin and especially in Night City. Few realize that the cult finds its roots in ancient times. It's highly likely that Santa Muerte first arose as a fusion of the beliefs of the Aztecs, Mayans and other indigenous residents of South America with those of the Catholic Church, first brought to the continent centuries ago by the Spanish conquistadors. Our Lady of the Holy Death, also known as Lady of the Night, Senora de la Noche, is a fascinating deity. Her wide-ranging devotees include prisoners, gangsters and drug dealers, but also police officers, prostitutes and others who work under the cloak of night. In other words, anyone whose life is in constant danger. Even at the turn of the 21st century, persecuted members of the LGBT community would also pray, pray to her. Santa Muerte offers her protection to anyone who asks for it while leaving an appropriate offering at her altar. Rum and tequila, fruit, cigarettes, candy or flowers. 
Interestingly enough, it's believed that she does not distinguish between morally sound and morally questionable requests. Ooh. Her, <laughs> that sounds a little bit like most of the fixes in Night City. Her worshippers pray for health and happiness, but also revenge or the death of their enemies. Everyone, no matter their request, must remember one thing. Every prayer offered carries a price. If you don't pay, Santa Muerte will take someone close to you, and she would have every right to do so. Santa Muerte is not just another chthonic goddess of the underworld. She is the saint of the rejected, the excommunicated, of those who feel somehow unfit to ask God directly to intervene. It should come as no surprise then that so many Night City residents consider her their patron. Interesting, and um, I know that uh, sort of a gang and a deity, or close to a deity, a, a, a saint, um, don't really have an awful lot in common, but I can't help but draw comparisons between uh, between Santa Muerte and the mocks. They 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 have a, a lot of similarities between them in terms of um, sort of offering uh, offering refuge and support, I guess, to um, to those who were looked down upon by society. Right, I'm trying to see if I can't trace. Oh, here we go. Seven A, F F. 551C. Let's do that first of all. 7A FF551C. That gets line 3. Let's see if we can string anything else together. Uh, we can do an FF1C. Yeah. Near enough. Gosh, somebody really likes the sound of their own voice upstairs, don't they? Oh, hello. Oh, so there was an external entrance. Pants. Right, let's uh, sneaky schnoo past uh, sneaky you. So that leads upstairs. Where did we come in? We came in through there. That's locked by the looks of it. Yeah, we're not getting through there. What's in this room over here? Toilets. Ooh. Okay. Staff toilets by the looks of things. <laughs> That's my fascination with looking through toilets. I don't understand it. I don't understand me. Okay. Let's uh, take this stealthily like now we could have another camera oh i can hear one i can hear one nearby yeah there's likely to be a camera right as we get to the top of this landing i would think oh hello damn it i hate that that camera sounds so close where is it oh man Okay, turn off. Backpedal. Oh, shit. Wow, that was far, far too close. No, I did not enjoy that. Not one little bit. Right, we've got glass doors here. Let's make sure there's nobody... Oh, God, there is somebody in there. Right, that's okay. You're seated and you're looking away by the looks of things. Right, what about you? Let's uh, tell you what I should be doing. Let's run a ping. Let's see. You don't have brake hold. That's fine. That's good to know. Let's run a quick ping whilst we can. Right, nobody else in the side rooms by the looks of it. Excellent. Let's, uh... Yoink you! Yoink! Slip! Right, I will look for a more, uh, a more permanent hidey hole for you. But first... I wonder if I can... No, oh, no, I can't quick hack you through there, can I? That doesn't make any sense. Um... Let's just take care of this gonk first of all. Oh, hello, there's a crate there. That could pack both of them away quite nicely. You don't have brake hold. Sucks to be you. Slidey, 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 stash. Wonderful. Uh, what did you have on you? A tattoo needle, yes. <laughs> Useful, thanks. Oh shit, that guy in the next room is on the move. Let's get... Uh, Get this fool squared away as quickly as possible, Mr. White. Oh, hello. We've got an archive conversation between Lena and Otis. Hey, what's going on with Steve? He isn't picking up or texting back. I went by his place. Door was on the chain. Neighbors say they haven't seen him for days. Hmm. All I know is that he's supposed to go and meet Jotaro. Said he could be getting more eddies with him. Oh, no. I hate Steve already. I told him Jotaro's whacked in the head and to be careful. So I heard. Figured he would. Don't know what happened after, but I have my suspicions. Swing by if you want to talk. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Did I think Steve was taken and used by Jotaro in one of his uh, one of his fresh BDs? 
Oh no, hate that. Right. Pop you away. There we go, my dear. Lovely and compact. Yeah, squash you in nice and tight. Get cozy together, why don't you? Uh, right, I thought this computer was hackable, but apparently not. Okay, I should be uh, a little more careful. I don't think there was anyone in this server room, but, uh, you know, just in case. Now we're good, we're golden. Right, now, let's get into this office. It appears that this is our, uh, our objective. I'm sure I had you tagged. I did have you tagged. Why are you not tagged? All right, there should be a lady asleep on the sofa over there as well. Um, but she shouldn't cause us any issues. Sleep well, Taras. You have break hold. You don't. Okay. I want to just see. I've got a feeling he kind of paces backwards and forwards in front of that window. And I want to make sure he's not going to spin around on his heels and spot us just as we go up to go and grab him. I think he might be about to move. Yeah, there we go. This is our moment. Make sure there's no other cameras. Now we're good. We're golden. Ooh, the problem here is we're going to be grabbing this guy right in front of a window where the entire club can see us. We're going to have to grab him and uh, backpedal pretty quick. <laughs> Shit. Oh, calm. Stay where you are. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, my God. I hated that. Oh, wow. You're... Uh... You're quite the kitted out Valentino, aren't you? I think we would probably be all right just leaving him where he is there. Unless there's a hidey hole in here somewhere. I don't think there is. Right, we do have... Ooh, actually. Oh, that just goes back out to the hallway. Okay, I thought that might have been a bathroom or something. Um... Damn, can I... I'm going to bounce a pin because I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two other people... Somewhere that away on this level. Oh no, there isn't. Okay. No, oh, they must have been downstairs. All right, sweet. Um, we've got free reign then, as long as we kind of stay out of the way of uh, of here, of of the window. Sorry. Well, that's not very useful. Oh, there's nothing on there anyway. Wait, what's that? Hold recording in progress. Just fucking try it. Okay. All right, here we go. Steal data. Let's use the terminal first. Hopefully we don't get spotted by anyone through the window. Work from uh, Senor Ladrillo to Jose Luis. Jose, got a job for you. Serious biz for serious eddies. Got no Mickey Mouse shit. Details and persona. Come by and we'll talk. Make sure you're not followed. Ladrillo. So who's Jose Luis? A merc, maybe? From Ladrillo to Thomas Norilt. Good day, officer. I believe there has been a slight misunderstanding. One of your boys from the precinct was here, waving around some kind of search warrant. I told him to take a walk, which he did. But I can't help wondering how this happened in the first place. Now, I don't want to point any fingers, but one of us is clearly not sticking to the fucking deal. I shouldn't have to remind you about all those tapes we have of you with minors. Oh my god. Oh, that's horrible. Consider this your final warning. Ladrillo, right. Thomas Norilt will add uh, young Thomas to the bullet through the cranium list. Gone for a while. From Ladrillo to uh, Salo Capon. Salo, brother, forgive me, but I have to leave town for a while. It's an urgent family matter. An inheritance to divvy up, a forged will, usual stuff. Uh, I have to go and see a cousin from SoCal grabbing by the collar, explain how we do things. You get the idea. Hold the fort while I'm gone. Keep biz flowing. Any problems? Call me straight away. Ladrillo. Okay. Uh, let's turn all of those off and then nab this data. Get this camera footage out. Downloading data, redirecting to fix it. Yes, you'll do. Right. Half expecting the NCPD to come bursting through the door down there, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll make a good hour escape before anything goes awry. I am intrigued what's through this double door, though. Let's... Uh, Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, what? Hold on. Don't tell me we could have just jumped up onto the balcony. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Got the files from the Dicky Twister. I rejoice, and so should you. For the contract has been closed, and your compensation is on its way. Amen. <laughs> Amen indeed, Padre. Amen indeed. 
Right, excellent. Uh, that was, uh, ooh, excuse you. That was pretty successful. Nice clean job um, in not such a clean establishment. Right, let's head back to the Shion uh, and let's see what else is in store for us. We did have a couple more side jobs in close proximity. Yeah, like real close proximity. So, sorry, my darling. We're going to leave you there just for a moment. You'll be all right on your own. Might as well just head on foot to this next one, seeing as it's pretty much right next door. Yeah, pretty pleased with how that went in the end. A couple of slightly hairy moments, but uh, yeah, our stealth game seems to be getting considerably better as time goes on. Uh, this, of course, will be the uh, the time where I completely disprove that theory. Good day, V. There is a man who must mean justice. Okay. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I'm counting on you, V. Personal matter. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Gun for hire. Target is Karubo Bairi. Dive bar on the corner of Congress and Pigeon Street. There's a time for forgiveness and a time for revenge. There's a time for turning the other cheek and a time for crushing your enemies like the roaches they are. In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, cursed is he who keeps their sword from bloodshed. The man you're to eliminate is Karubo Bairi. Bayree. He's an old timer, but don't let appearances fool you. He used to be a solo. He killed my friends, people who were like brothers and sisters to me. When all hell broke loose in Night City, he fled from to the East Coast. Now he's back, probably thinking everybody forgot about him, but not me. Karubu runs a filthy dive that serves as a Valentino's hangout. Go there and show him that nobody can avoid the hand of justice. And try not to make a scene, okay? Be professional. No unnecessary attention. Ooh, okay. So... Are we to kill this guy or just take him down? Do you know what? I'm going to try and take this guy down as opposed to outright killing. Uh, can we... That's a fancy... Oh, it's a lock. Why is, it... Why is the door lock on the wall? That doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Why does this place look familiar? I've never been here, but it looks familiar. Oh, I think this is the same layout. Yeah, this building has the same layout as the uh, where we went to meet Dino Dinovich, I think. Hello, sir. Uh, women problems? No, not oh, too chatty. Okay, probably because I'm a woman. Can't imagine he's uh, too keen to get talking. Oh, there you are. Haruba Bere, Valentinos. Right. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's run a... Just out of interest, I don't know where this is going to go. Let's run a ping just to see if anybody gets highlighted. No, nobody seems to be here as protection, but I would imagine the Valentinos probably wouldn't take too kindly if we started kicking up a fuss. All right. Um, hello, good sir. Oh, God, nobody, nobody's particularly chatty around here, are they? Jesus, all right. Uh... Um, okay, I didn't mean to start anything. We're cool. We're cool. What's in this room over here? Nothing much by the looks of things. A couple of, uh, yeah, a couple of crafting... Crafting items. I'm not going to journey into the toilets this time. Right, so... Hmm, how are we going to get to this guy? Looking at the mini-map, I'm not sure that there are... Wait, hold on, there is a side door through there. Ah! Hello. Let's head back outside. It looks like there might be a back door into that kitchen. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Can we... Yes, we can use tech ability. I wonder if there's a way I can lure him out. Let's, uh, let's take a look at our cyberware. Maybe we can use Whistle. Let's get rid of Cyber Psychosis. We're definitely not going to be using that here, are we? Let's try Whistle. Anything else that might help in attracting him out? Detonate Grenade. Short Circuit. Sonic Shock. Suicide. <laughs> we don't want Suicide. Blimey. Um, right. I'm thinking maybe a little bit of a 1-2. I wonder how much Whistle takes in terms of RAM. Hmm. Whoa. Hello. Right, Whistle's available. Whistle only takes three RAM. Wonderful. Right, let's deploy that on him to bring him over to us here. 
No, I should have tagged him, shouldn't I? Schoolboy error. You can't see where the bugger is. Whoop. Hello. Now. <laughs> System reset. Oh, I tell you, like candy from a baby, isn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Oh, poo. Can't use, uh... Oh, no. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, don't get in sight of... Wait. Did I just get away with that? Shit, I think I might have just got away with it. <laughs> All right, gold chain. Ooh, transport has been arranged. Unity, outstanding payments. Uh, let's see. Pascal until Friday. Ramiro paid up. Inez calculate interest. Ooh, so he's keeping tabs on people that owe him cash? Interesting. Now, there's somebody right on that window there, so I don't know if I'm going to get... Oh, good, he's wandered off. Wait, he just moonwalked back to the bar. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's read this really quickly. What have we got? You're back? Uh, from Royce. Fuck, Jim, is it true what they're saying on the streets? You're back in NC? We ought to remind this town just who we are again, man. Night City's even more fucked up than it used to be. Hit me up. Right, so he knows Royce. Rabanri Azumaya? Uh, heard you back in NC. Thought I'd find out or just forget. Uh, if it's either of those, you're wrong. Hope you're covered by Trauma Team. Who knows when you might have an accident. Oh, excellent. He's not liked by the, uh, oh, confessions. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. A confession should begin with me listing... What? Tengan cuidado. Easy. <laughs> Grandpa's gonna find you, Zora. Um. <laughs> Let's see. You don't have break hole. Let's memory wipe. And sneaky snoo, sneaky snoo. Grab. Slip. <laughs> oh dear. Bones are rattling. Ears are humming. Yep, it's you. Like you. It was definitely your bony ears. There's definitely not an intruder in the back. Oh, God. Um, a confession should begin with me listing my sins, but I cannot. I know I have murdered, but I don't know how many. I know I have tortured, but I don't remember who or why. I know I have raped. Oh, my God. I'm but, fucking die here waiting. Will you be quiet? I'm reading someone's confession. Um, huh? All their faces blend together. My memory fails me because I abuse psycho sim stims for focus, reflexes, and to dull the pain. The last 15 years of my life are like a corrupted video Grandpa's file. Gonna find you, Zora. Silence. All I can recall are pieces, the kind that keep me up at night. I'm back in Night City now. I don't know why or what I'm looking for. Maybe atonement, maybe death. After all, I came back knowing I have many enemies here. I sincerely repent and promise to improve myself oh, as a man, but if I were to I'm say why I deserve your idiot. mercy, Lord, two or three words remaining, pay an extra 10% now to guarantee your absolution. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad I didn't kill him. He's, uh... Oh, that's, uh... Oh, hello. Wait, hold on. Archive conversation between San Luis and Pilar. Sup, got some work needs doing. You in? Oh, Jose... Hold on. Jose Luis? Isn't this the guy... This is the guy that, um... That's, what was his name? Senor, Senor Lupillo or whatever his name was in the, the club that we've just been in? This is the guy he was contacting. Um, don't know how much you're paying. Whatever you want. You win the lottery or something? I wish. Loaded client, not skimping on cash or gear. I bet that's the owner at the bar. Uh, but he wants it done quiet. Sounds too good to be true. Something's off about this. Nothing's off. Ladrillo. That's it. Ladrillo vouches for him. So you in or not? Because I got others. I'm in. Fuck it. Prem, tell you the rest when we meet. Later. Wait, so is this? No, this is La Lakshid Shan. So I wonder if this is uh, someone associated with with that little setup. Right, let's uh, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, hello. Right here, dump body. I'm glad I kept him alive because it sounds as though he may actually regret his previous actions. I already see Karubo in the fiery jaws of hell. I hear his piercing screams. I smell the sinner's burning. Don't be so quick to judge. In other words, my heart is full of joy. <laughs> Contract closed. Go with God. Thank you very much, Padre. Right, let's uh, get the crap in our inventory ground down for a start. Uh, Santa Muerte brooch. Ah, Santa Muerte, that's what we read about, isn't it? That brooch. Oh, we've got two of them. But at least one of them came from... Um, I've forgotten his name, the, the Valentino guy who... Uh, 
who I threw from the apartment balcony after I offed him in that Romeo and Juliet style uh, setup. Now, uh, I feel bad about that. I said immediately after, after we'd taken down the, the Phantom of Night City, uh, the Cyber Psycho, uh, that was offing all the Tiger Claws, I said that I felt bad about throwing that um, that Valentino off the, the balcony and, and murdering him in such a murderous manner. And I'm wondering if I might be right. Robert, then in the comments, um, pointed out very uh, helpfully, thank you very much, Robert, that uh, you could have actually spoken to him. 37 damage, 40, uh, 37 damage. Wait, what's the difference between these? Okay, let's get rid of that one. Uh, yeah, we're good. Oh, and crowbar we don't need. Um, yeah, I could have actually spoken to him. So I am wondering, because I did say afterwards... Oh, hello. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Upon greater reflection, I thought you deserved a bonus for the job you did. Find it at the nearest drop point and go with God. Thank you very much, Padre. Let's... Oh, God. Relic's playing up again. <sighs> I just want to have a very quick schnoopity schnoo just to see if there were any... Um, if there were any shards or anything like that in here. Quite possibly not, but just in case. Oh, there's lots of eddies, but... Uh, we'll leave them. They're not worth... Uh, Whoa, they're not worth riling up the Valentinos, as I was about to say. Oh, that guy's marching right on through, isn't he? Let's, uh... <laughs> let's just close this door over. And make our way swiftly away. Yeah, uh... I'm really not sure whether I made the right call or not. Um, when we were in that uh, Valentino's guy's apartment, the guy... And I, I made a mistake as well. It turns out that his, uh... His Sixth Street love wasn't dead at all. She was just in a coma. So... There could have been a possibility that um, that they could have actually been together again, I guess. Oh, God, I don't know. Um, I, I feel like I might be getting a little bit too heavy-handed. I feel this city's uh, kind of getting to me a little bit. Oh, crap, my stamina's gone. I can't run. Oh, tippy-toe, tippy-toe. I feel like I might be getting a little bit too trigger-happy, a bit too uh, heavy-handed. God, look at this. Look at this sandstorm that's crossed through again. God. They're getting more and more, uh, more and more numerous, I think. What have we got? 1,800. 1,800 eddies. That's okay. We can live with that. Right, let's uh, take a look at the next one again. Very close proximity. 6.18 a.m. It should be getting brighter, and yet it seems to be getting darker as the sandstorm rips its way through, uh, through Vista del Rey. Right, here we go. What have we got? Dandelion cocktails. Look how gloomy it is, though. This is horrible. Oh, hold on. No, it's rent. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Blinded by sand, you know, grit in the eye and all that. This is, like, severely grim. Right. What's going on? Oh. Well, I hate this already. Take this, you... Cock-sucking suits. Wait, the NCPD of what? Taking down a, a corpo? The hell? Is this one of Sebastian's? I don't think this is one of. Uh, I don't think this is one of Padre's jobs. What's going on here? Need to be careful because it looks like the NCPD are uh, are alert. The NCPD is surrounding a body. Nigel Hamilton. Who the hell's that? Right. Let's drop a quick save here. Um, I'm gonna just, uh, yeah, make sure we've got the right weapon. Let's just size these guys up a little bit. Keegan Kelly, Elite NCPD, Corey Aldwin, regular NCPD, and regular NCPD, William Becker. So if we're gonna do anything to anyone, this is the guy. Looks like he's, uh, potentially got a shotgun on him as well. Oh, and he's in, yeah, he's in heavy, uh, protective gear by the looks of things. Evening, officers. Well, morning. They... Fuck you looking at? Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, what seems to be the trouble, officers? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go in guns blazing. I was literally just saying I've I've got a bit too much of a heavy trigger finger lately. Let's uh, let's keep this cool. What's going on? Stop it, or she kill him? Is this how you protect and serve? Oh, whip out the street kid attitude. Quit Causes fucking with me. City's finest protect and serve. Why? You want to be some kind of hero. Guy's still alive by the looks of it. Don't know him. 
So, why the fuck we talking? I don't know what's going on around me. Not every day you see a man in a thousand eddy suit getting beaten within an inch of his life. Wouldn't you agree? Fair point. He put a girl into a coma. Daughter of a friend. Rotten skiff or an XBD? Second one. Oh, no. Okay, that changes things a little bit. I'll deal with him. Leave him alone. From what I can tell, your guy's a mid-level manager. And? Corp won't let this slide. They'll pull the data from this asshole's biomon and find you. And then, they'll shoot you. <laughs> you think I don't know that? Fucking corpos walking around like holy cows in a two-piece. But I ain't letting them go. No fucking chance. I'm not asking you to. What I want is for you to let me finish the job. Yeah? And what's in it for you? I'm wondering the same, actually. Nothing. It's just how I unwind. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. Let's go, boys. Take um, care of yourself. Uh, officer boys <laughs> I don't I don't think that's that's a boy so that's it just uh me in the suit <laughs> okay only pain wake the corpo where's this leading oh padre oh here we go Oh, yes, this is the second vehicle he's offering us. I was about to say, here we go with the barrage of cars, but this is the second one. Uh, oh, it's a particularly interesting looking one, though. Listen, V, I have a Cortez for sale. It once belonged to some trust fund kid who got it for his birthday. Except instead of driving it around, he preferred to stay hooked up to porn PTs all day. Eventually, the family disowned him. He sold the car, and now here we are. So, you interested? Take a look and give me your answer soon. <laughs> all right. Right, so what is your deal, Nigel? What's his name again? Nigel Hamilton. Rise and shine, Corpo Swine. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. So what's this guy's involvement in BD, uh, XBDs? Well, if it wasn't for you, I'd be... Well, thank you. Uh, don't thank me just Are yet. You sent by the company? Wrong answer. Hmm. Then hold on. What do you want from me? Oh, well, well, well. Uh, Eddie's truth, what do they want from you? Heard you've been showing spiked brain... Oh, I see! I thought that he might have uh, gotten their friend's daughter into an XBD, but it looks like he's peddling dodgy BDs, which have uh, fried her. Nothing, it's your lucky day. No, we're not letting him off. Now, do we pursue the investigation? The truth, what did they want from you? All right. Let's start with the level playing field. The truth. What did they want from you? I have no idea. They said something about some slut and a virtue. But when I asked what I had to do with it, they started beating on me so hard, I thought I'd die. Mm. Uh, this city's really going down the drain. Do we believe him? For the police to do this... In plain sight, for no reason. We've been duped before by people in Night City. Voodoo Boy spring to mind. I, I, this guy could be trying to just worm his way out of some filthy dealings. Hand over your eddies. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he's got enough of them, and I have kind of saved his ass. Nice chatting with you. Now, hand over the eddies. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. Y you need a reward. Uh, is this enough? Give me everything you got. What's he transferred? 1,330 eddies. Uh, oh God, we're not a common street thug. We're above that now. We used to be many, many months ago, but no, we're above that now. Or are we? You know it's not <laughs> if you're asking. Don't make me finish what the badge has started. Okay, here, here, here. That, that, that's everything I have on me. Mm. Have a pleasant evening. Okay. Well, that didn't turn out the way I expected it to. I thought we were going to uh, potentially start knocking seven shades of shit out of this guy, but go on, on your way. Get out while you still can. Well, um, 
we, we've we've faced some really quite unexpected uh, little side gigs over the past couple of videos. Uh, long may it continue. We're going to uh, what's that over there? Hmm. We are going to pursue more of the side jobs around here. Clear the streets for Sebastian Ibarra and uh, see where that leads us so that we can try and get a good footing before we go and uh, meet up with Takimura or potentially with Judy or with Pan Am or, you know, whoever needs our attention the most next. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then whack those down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of, uh, of the game and what's going on and any commentary that you've got on sort of how I've been navigating my way through this murky world of Night City. And I will catch you in the next one, guys. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.